In this video, we are going to get user data from session. So inside your classes, create a new file. Call it user.php. Then over here, just open up your PHP tab. Then this one be class and user. We will create a private variable called $PDO. Then this one be public function. Then a magic method underscore and a construct. Then this one be dollar this our notation PDO. Then this one be database colon colon connect. If we check our database class, we have a method called connect, which allows us to connect to MySQL. So this is it. Then semicolon. So we are going to create a method to get our user data. This one be public function get user data from session. So we are going to get user data from session. So in order for us to do that, we'll check first check and see whether the session is being set. So if the session is being set, then fetch the record. This is what we are doing. We are checking to see whether the user ID is set. So if the user ID is set, the number will be dollar user ID is equal to dollar underscore session, which is this one. So if this one is set, then get the session ID and paste it here. Then over here will be dollar statement is equal to dollar days our notation PDO our notation prepare. So this one be select all from users where user ID is equal to colon user ID, which is this one. And we need to bind it. So this one dollar statement our notation bind param. And this one be colon user ID then. This ID is this one, and this ID is the, just the parameter, which is this one. And over here, we need to execute it. So, this one dollar statement, our notation, row count, and this one be semicolon. And over here, instead of move, we don't need this one. So this one be dollar statement, our notation, execute. We need to execute it. Then after that, return the record. So this one be return dollar statement our notation fetch. Okay. So let's go and check and see what we are getting over here. So this is it. So first, we need to create an instance of this class user. Inside your init, over here, we create dollar user or load form from user, which is called new user. Right, correct. Then inside your index.php, over here. Over here will be bar underscore dump. So comment on this one for now. So bar underscore dump dollar load from user our notation get user data from session, which is this one, then semicolon. Okay. So now just refresh it. Click here and click on inspect. So as you can see why we are getting some data over here. So meaning that our logic has worked fine. We are getting some data over here. So what I want us to do is so now remove this one from here. 
Okay. So we have this one over here. Then this one be dollar user. Okay. Okay. And over it we have a div. Give it a class of gofa dash user dash id. Then over here we'll give it a data attribute. So data dash user id, which is equal to open it. Then over here, so this one be echo dollar user our notation user underscore id. Then over here to the same thing, copy this one from here. And ACT. Over here, the profile ID will still be the same as the user ID because we are in the index page. Right? There is it. So now, the next thing that I want is this one. This one is not dynamic. So I want us to change it. Okay. So, which is which one? Okay, so inside your global, this one, remove this one from here. So it's the profile image, which is this one. Profile image. So this one be dollar. User our notation profile image. Okay, so now let's refresh it and see. Okay, we are getting an error. And also by it to the same thing. We are getting the set is an array. Okay. Fetch. I want it to be an object, so use fetch underscore obj. This one is fetch. So if you want to fetch an object instead of an array, then this is what you do. This one over here, realize that what we are getting is what? Warning, they said attempt to read property user underscore id on array. We don't want it to be an array, we want to return an object. So this one will be fetch, and inside will be PDO, column, column, fetch, underscore OBJ, which is an object. Right, is it. Then now refresh it. So as you can see by it, now we have gotten the data. This is the user ID. If you want it to be an array, you can still use it. So this fetch over here returns an array of the record sets. Okay. Then there is it. Then over here, the attribute over here is a description of what the image is about. So the image is for what? The user will log in. So this one will be the username. Open up your PHP tag and close it here. So this one be dollar user our notation full name. So now let's refresh it. Okay, so if you click here and inspect, this is it. This is the user full name. So whatever the user entered, this is where it will be. Right, this is the description. So, in case maybe the image failed to load, then this over description will display. So, let's see. Over here, let's. So, as you can see, if you inspect here, we are getting, you can see the description over here. So that's it. So, in the next video, we are going to work on this one. We are going to create functionality to search for a user. 
So see you in the next video.